Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video, Ryan Knows Crypto. Today I wanted to go over something that's pretty important to me, and that's basically how I research crypto and how to do your own research. Now, a lot of people are always asking me, you know, how do you come up with these coins? How'd you know this coin was going to blow up from just 10 cents and go to $30? How'd you find out? And people think that you can just go on to Reddit and just pick out the coin of the week, but really there's a lot more to that. I'm going to show you the methods I use to do research. Now, I also want to tell you I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video constitutes financial or legal advice. Please invest responsibly and do your own research with due diligence. All the coins I picked could have just as easily been pure luck. Uh, no skill involved at all, but I'm going to show you what I do. So just take what I do with a grain of salt. Alright, uh, first thing I do. Um, I'm going to talk about how I do my research. Uh, first thing I want you to do is build a list of what to research. Um, so what I would do... On a typical day, I would go onto a cryptocurrency thread on Reddit. I'd read through it, and I would just kind of see what everyone's kind of picking out. What do they like? Um, and I'd build a small list. So let me show you the list here that I built real quick. Uh, it took me about five minutes to build all this. Uh, Reddit coins people like Pro, The Key, KuCoin, GVT, DBC, CND, Po, Ethland. Now these are just little comments people made I just highlighted them copied them over to a sheet and then I, I went ahead and took a look at another um, resource I'm gonna show you in a second Solume and I just looked at what coins are people talking about sys Bancor Admine and uh, AGI for singularity.net RETN retainly and XZC Z coin so these are the coins I just took a look at here uh, real quick I'll show you another program I use. It's called Solume.io, or a site that I use. Basically, this just follows the trends of what people are talking about on Twitter. Um, so if you look here, of course, everyone's talking about Bitcoin, ETH, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Monero. That's all fine and well. We know about all those. But if we dig down deeper into the 40s and 50s, we start seeing uh, coins that are just starting to be talked about. 10x, Extra Bytes, Kin. Y O Y O W, ICX, Gold Coin, Substratum. And then we get deeper down here. We see Bancor, we see Poe, we see Ardor, we see Chainlink, Admine, uh, Singularity, Retainly. And then let's see where I found it Z Coin, X, X Z C. So this is the coin. Um, this is the coin that I just picked out as an example how I would research uh, and basically I, I would just come on here because it shows it's got a hundred thirty seven percent increase talk about um, 36 mentions uh, and most positive chatter about this coin and it's at fifty four dollars so this is attractive to me because I like um, I like a good cheap coin but I also like a good expensive coin sometimes so uh, another Another website I use just to see what's getting popular is this Crypto Miso. Uh, Crypto Miso just shows how many edits and how many people are looking at the GitHubs. So you can kind of see what are people actually researching and what are people talking about. Like, here's another one, Particle, P-A-R-T. Uh, privacy, mar privacy Marketplace and Chat. Uh, you know what, I'm going to throw that on my list to research later. That sounds interesting. And um, if we looked here, it's got 2,072 commits and 100 plus contributors. Okay, so say I pick out my coin. Um, I'll show you one more site I also use to pick up new coins that are coming up. Uh, what to mine? Now, all these sites will be linked in the description below. So, what to mine basically shows you what coins, if you put in what cards you have in your miner, what what's the good coins to mine. So, of course, right at the top, we see ETH. Now this is just an example. Uh, if you have three 480s, um, what would it show? Uh, ETH, Ethereum, Pearl, Expanse, Ella, Music Coin. That's all good. We already know about all those coins. But if we go down deeper here, um, you start seeing coins like Innova. Interesting. GoBite, Treasure Coin, uh, Vivo, Crowd Coin, Phoenix Coin. That looks interesting. All Neoscript coins. 
So one of the things you have to understand about the crypto market, and uh, this is this might be even a crypto secret, is that miners are the invisible hand behind the market. When miners are mining a coin, that creates excitement about a coin, that gets people talking about a coin. The miners influence the buyers. And uh, so one thing is I found a lot of coins that make a lot of money just by looking at the site what to mine. Um, cause some of these coins, Pascal coin, Decred, you know, uh, some of these coins traded at nothing and then went to something, but before they were ever became something, they were on what to mine. So people started mining them and that generates interest in a coin. So this is a good resource to find a coin. All right. So say we take our coin, we're looking on coin market cap. Uh, coin market cap is probably the most valuable resource for finding more about a coin because it has all the links you need and you know you find the graphs so say let's look at our coin we talked about all right ZXC or Z coin well right here we see a basic graph of it uh, starting off at about four dollars climbing up to about ten dollars hitting an all-time high at about a hundred forty one dollars dropping down to 46 now it's somewhere around 54 all right I like this graph um, wish I got back in it in uh, November of 2016 when it was four dollars so from here you can pull up stuff like the website you can pull up their announcement thread you can pull up their block Explorer uh, but first thing let's just go look at the markets all right um, a word about the markets if you see a coin that's only traded on stocks.exchange or only a single small uh, like a single small market that means the price can be easily manipulated the more markets a coin trades on the less chance a coin can be manipulated because it's too hard to manipulate it across several sites so right away I see this one's on AEX 70% uh, of the volume Binance, which is a good sign. They control 14% of the volume. And then we got Bittrex. All right. And then we got Cryptopia. And we got Coin Exchange. All right. So this <clears throat> traded on plenty of sites. So the next thing I would do is now I'm interested in the coin and I think it's a profitable coin to trade. I go look at the announcement thread. So you just click here on announcement. All right. Announcement's going to take you to the Bitcoin form announcement thread. So this is basically when the coin just came out. They're telling you all about the coin. You can see that this is basically a, a version of Bitcoin that uses the Merkle tree protocol or MTP proof of work. Um, the blogs, the white papers, all the resources, how to do the wallet, how to set it up. So just when I'm starting out, I would probably go to this and I would read everything I can. I'd read at least the first 10 pages. Um, now, when I say the first 10 pages, I mean the first 10 pages of this forum thread here. Uh, this is where a lot of the early questions get hashed out. And um, when the founders kind of talk about the coin more, tell them what they're doing. And then I would jump to the very last pages. All right. And I'd probably read the last 10 pages. So here they're talking about implementing a master node. You need a thousand coins to start a master node. Uh, I already know that. The, the coin's trading about 50 bucks, so a master node's gonna be about $50,000. Uh, I'd read the last 10 pages. And usually in these last 10 pages, you can kind of get a sense of what the developers are doing, um, the way that people feel. If it's a scam, there'll be like tons of posts that says, this is a scam coin, stay away. Or what's about to drop, you know? Are they gonna have TV ads coming out? Um, what exchanges are they about to be listed on? Um, what, how's the roadmap going? You know, all these are very important things to consider, um, especially when you're considering getting into a coin. Uh, there's a lot of coins, a lot of coins that are scams. And when people say that a coin is a scam, they will post it here in, in this. They'll say that this, uh, Let's say uh, this staff member is a scammer or he's been involved in a couple different scams. So this is one of your best places to get information because it's, it's pretty real.
uh, what the people say. Um, next thing I would do is I'm looking at this coin, Z coin. I'd go to their website. You know, what does their website look like? Do they have a working website? Uh, you think I'm joking, but some of these coins, people are trying to get investors, they don't have a working website. Sometimes they can't even write basic English. Uh, grammar is all bad. Um, misspellings everywhere. All right, but say uh, this has got a pretty nice website. Um, but a website's only one part of it, you know? Uh, they got a little video on here. Okay, social media representation, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, Telegram. Um, from here, if I'm really thinking about investing, I jump on that Telegram. Uh, jump on the Telegram channel, uh, jump on their uh, Discord channel, read what everyone's saying, talk to the developers. Um, after looking at the website, first thing I want to do is look at the white papers. Uh, this white paper, it's only 15 pages long. That's uh, easy to read. Um, and basically, I read, I read through this white paper, uh, every single word of it. It basically talks about how it improves on Bitcoin. It shows the mathematical algorithms based behind the white papers. What do, How does it accomplish what it does? Uh, this is basically um, an anonymous Bitcoin. And then they show how how they implement their solution, uh, basically creating a serial number about 256 digits long for the coin. It goes on the network, sees if none other exists. It burns the coin and creates a new coin, a new serial number that hides the originating uh, coin. This lets you move, buy and sell and trade this coin without any trace of where the coin came from um it's basically a bitcoin with a privacy uh aspect built into it and there's charts and graphs and they tell you how they come up with their solutions and then you can kind of from here if you have some basic idea of how crypto works and blockchain works you can kind of see you know the genius in their idea or the flaws in their idea how many transactions can they do a second or a minute and um why and then also read these white papers with a grain of salt. You know, I've read some white papers where they say that this coin can do 50,000 transactions a second. And we, we did it on a single computer and we tested it out. Uh, but guess what? Once um, it gets out to the real world and they start trying to process 50,000 transactions a second in the real world, it doesn't always work. It worked great in the lab. Um, you know, being an engineer, a lot of things work great in the lab and then don't work in real life. And it's the same thing with white papers. So, like I said, 15 pages, read through it completely, check the sources. Um, if a coin doesn't have a white paper, uh, don't walk away from it, run from it. All right, next thing I do is I, I like to investigate the team. Here shows the dev team. Uh, we got founder and core developer, Poorman Insom. I apologize if I got his name wrong. And we got this Peter Sugalev, lead core developer. So it looks like we got an Asian guy, a Russian guy, another Asian guy. And th this guy's Irish. All right, so we got like an international team. So from here, what you do is just go ahead and start Google searching these people. You know, I pull up this guy, poor man in some. Let's do a Google search for him. What do we have here? Twitter handle, LinkedIn profile. Um, interviews with him. Click on one of these interviews. Uh, Alright, now this is the interview that's on the Zcoin IO website. So I wouldn't really put too much backing into this interview. Uh, one thing I would look for is like a video interview. Um, maybe like something on YouTube or Twitter or just wherever they've done a video interview. Um, you know, one thing that I'm especially good at, uh, or if I had to rank uh, my skills, um, one of my greatest skills is I can sniff the bullshit out in people. Um, very quickly I can tell if someone knows what they're talking about or if they're FOS. Uh, that's why I like to watch the videos of these developers. because, Or if they're doing a TED talk or something. It's because I can find the most out about a person when I hear them speak. And especially if they're talking about a subject that they know a lot about or that they're passionate about, um, you can find out real quick.
So, but that's just me ma making my opinion on on some of these developers when I first watch them. And believe me, you can learn a lot uh, just by watching a video somewhere. All right. So the next thing I do, say this team checks out. All right, I like the team some more. Then we go to the GitHub. Now the GitHub. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's basically the repository of all the papers and all the code of open source projects. Um, one of the things I'm looking for is how many commits they've had or updates to it. Uh, this one's got 380 commits. Uh, that's fair. Um, it's an old project. It's been around for a while. It's got 15 different contributors, which I like that. It's got 34 releases and 19 branches. So what this basically tells me is that this coin is getting a lot of action. Um, people have been updating the source code. They have been fixing it. They show you how to build it out, like how to build master nodes out. Now, I don't know if you have a programming background or what your background is, but just go ahead and open up uh, some of these readme docs. And this will kind of tell you more. This, this is contributing to the Bitcoin core project. Uh, it's basically about Bitcoin. And you scroll through it some more. It'll even tell you uh, the codes, how they set it up. Uh, you can take a look here. Oh, this is how they do their block tests. I'll see. This is basically, uh, all right, I'm just kidding. I really don't know what this means right here. But you can kind of read the code and you can kind of read the notes on the code and what everything does. Um, Anyways, this is about 500 or 1,000 pages long, or it's 1,459 files. Uh, so I'll back out of this here. But check the GitHub, make sure there's action. Um, there's a lot of these coins that you start researching it. There is no GitHub. If there is one, it's just a copy pasted thing with one contributor, zero updates. It's only there for the sake of being there. So you can know that, all right, um, there might not be any real tech behind this project. It might just be someone throwing up a coin just to throw up a coin. All right, once I've read all this here, checked it out, I know it's active. Let's go find the subreddit. Now this subreddit here, uh, you can probably find it in this um, this original page on um, CoinMarketCap. Here it says links from the Zcoin Reddit. You can go to the Reddit here, and this is also like being inside the Telegram or being inside Twitter, you can kind of see what everyone's saying. Uh, they're pushing for a marketing rush. February 11th, uh, crypto market report containing Zcoin. Okay, so you can kind of read what the subreddit are saying. And this, and I also take this with a grain of salt. A lot of times the subreddit is, um, they're the most hardcore of the hardcore fans. And since a lot of times the moderators are the owners of Zcoin, um, if someone posts some kind of FUD, or if someone posts something they don't like about it, or they got ripped off, uh, people can post that, and it can get deleted. But, if you looked at, like, the announcement thread, people can post there, and that's likely to stick around longer, or not get deleted at all. So, check the forums, check the subreddit, make sure that the project is legit, make sure the project is still going, and, um that it's not a dead project. Um, I've seen some wonderful coins that I was all about. And then when I checked the subreddit, the last the last post was three months ago. And everyone's asking now, where's the developer? Uh, is this coin dead? Um, I've seen that a lot in my research. And when I'm researching these coins, these are other coins that people are buying and selling uh, with no research at all. And some people don't even know that um, the developer got arrested, the developers involved in scams with three or four of their coins, or that this coin's just a pump and dump. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, Alright, next thing I want to talk about is Twitter. Um, now before I talked about the Solume IO that tells you what people are talking about on Twitter, but just because people are talking about it doesn't mean they're talking about good things. So I would just do a search for the coin. Um, in this case, I would just type in hashtag XZC, which is the official uh, hashtag for the Z coin. And just say, let's, let's take a look. What are people talking about here? 
Um, this person saying they don't like the exchange it's on. Another person talking about the coin in a nutshell. Uh, another person talking about the race to cryptocurrencies and what everything does. Uh, this is a zero coin protocol. It's a coin minting coin that creates new coins and burns old coins. Um, it's also a masternode coin, which is very hot right now. And uh, just kind of see what people are talking about on Twitter. All right. So now when you get to this point, uh, there's a couple of things you have to ask yourself. You've sufficiently researched a coin. All right. Um, let's see here. You've researched a coin and now you want to just ask yourself, uh, what stage are we at in the coin? What's the inflation of the coin? Uh, you can kind of take a look at the take a look at the chart of it. Um, look at the market cap. You know, this has got uh, 222 billion dollar market cap, worth 25,000 Bitcoin. What is the 24 hour volume? 24 hour volume. What's the circulating supply? Uh, in this case, it's four billion. All right. Um, another thing to consider is how how is the coin distributed? Uh, this coin's minted. This coin's master noted, and this coin's mineable. Is it GPU mineable? CPU mineable? Yes to both. Is it ASIC mineable? Unfortunately, it is ASIC mineable. Um, once you look at the algorithms this coin uses and other coins use, you'll see that sometimes ASIC mining, while while great for Bitcoin because the difficulties in the trillions. ASIC mining can be bad for a lot of coins because that means that people can produce the coins so fast. Uh, look, you can look at X11 coins. Uh, ASIC miners have wrecked X11 coins. Um, in my experience, a lot of coins get sunk. A couple coins go up and the rest of them get sunk just because no one wants a coin when a guy who buys an $1,100 ASIC miner can produce, you know, a hundred of those coins a day and they're worth a dollar a piece. Well, now this guy's gonna be printing 3,000 of these coins a month, and and when you're buying that coin at a dollar, he can come in and just sell them as fast as he can, uh, faster than you can buy them. So that's just something to consider the algorithm that it's on. Um, let's see what else we. Get. All right, so now you've read it all. Ask yourself these questions: Does the coin focus on one thing? All right. Basically, what does the coin do? What is the purpose of the coin? Uh, does this coin do it better than anything else that's out there? Alright. This is a privacy coin based off of Bitcoin. What does it do better than other privacy coins? Alright, now does it solve a clear and important problem? Um, yes and no. Alright, and does anything else already do it? Okay, so... Think of those things. Um, just a, for example, uh, there's a coin I was looking at called Dental Coin or Denta Coin. All right. Does it focus on one thing? Yes. Uh, its focus is um, helping people pay for the dentist. Does it do it better than anything else out there? Uh, yeah. Uh, there is no other coin that helps you pay for dental surgery, so it does. Does it solve a clear and important problem? Is people paying? For the dentist a problem? No, it's not. Does anyone need a coin to pay for the dentist? If you're in the dentist, you can pay for the dentist. Alright. What does it already do it? Does Denta coin already do this? Uh no. Um there's no dentist accepting it, at least when I researched it. So I didn't see it catching on. I didn't see it replacing cash, and I didn't see dentist adopting a coin. Doesn't mean the coin didn't go up after I already uh, studied it. Alright, so... So now, once you've considered all these things here... Alright. Now, I want you to take your time. Write down your thoughts on the coin. Then you can make a strategy. Uh, if you like this coin, if you don't like this coin... You know, and then stand by your opinion. Basically what I mean is when you come to an opinion on a coin, write it down, and then after you've done all that, then go watch YouTube videos about it, then go look it up in Google and see what else everyone thinks about it. Don't take someone else's opinion, 
stand by your own opinion. And this is basically the most difficult part about investing because you can get five people and all five people can research the same coin and read all the same sources and all five people can come up with a different opinion on the coin. So the only person you can trust, this is why I always say don't trust nobody, do your own research. The only person you can trust is yourself when it comes to researching a coin. Um, stand by your opinion, figure out if you want to buy it or not, then figure out where you want to buy it, and then figure out where you want to sell it. If you have to listen to people to tell you when to buy, then you're also going to need someone to tell you when to sell. And in that case, you're just not doing your own research, you're just listening to other people. Okay, so real quick, I'll just go over it one more time. This is how I do my own research. First, go ahead, come up with a list of coins. Um, let's see here, I'll show you my list of coins I came up with real quick. Uh, this didn't take me long to come up with about 10 or 12 coins that I thought are interesting, that I'd like to learn more about. Alright, Solume, IO. See if people are talking about it on Twitter. Okay, Crypto Miso. Uh, see if it's being checked out on GitHub. All right, what to mine? See if the coin's mineable. This is also another way to dig in and see and find more coin ideas besides uh, Reddit and what people are talking about. Okay, uh, coin market cap. Um, this is also a source to find coins. Say you want to find a coin that's going to make you a bunch of money. Uh, you can look in the top 50, top 75, top 100. You might not find uh, any gems or these are all well-established coins but what about if you looked at the coins in the top 200 and what if you looked at the coins in the top 300 and then you started looking at coins between 300 and 500 well now you might find some coins that are worth researching uh, some of these coins I've picked out coins you know coins that are 10 20 cents and then have went to 10 20 dollars just by digging deep here into the 400s and 500s. Um, I've also found coins that have lost money and I found coins that have made, you know, 10x, 20x. Uh, it's easy to do. It's easy to find the coins, but you gotta research them all. Um, all right, once you find the coin and you look it up on CoinMarketCap, go over every single thing, website, announcement, check out the Block Explorer, uh, look at the chat, Look at the source code. Click here under markets. Make sure it's being traded in uh, a lot of places. Check out social. See what people are saying. All right. Um, I'll show you the Block Explorer real quick. Uh, block Explorer basically tells you who owns the coins. So say you look here under the previous coins. This shows you how many people are mining blocks, what they're getting. But what I like to look at is the very first blocks, uh, and I don't know if it'll show you, show it here. Uh, okay, so maybe this one doesn't, but early on when coins are developing, you can look at the blocks and you can see what the pre-mine is and you can see how many coins people have. Uh, here if you look in the top 100, this shows you who the, the top 100 holders are. Um, the top guys own 166,000, 135,000, 89,000, uh, zero mint, which is probably, um, here's a founder's wallet. This shows you that the founder has 89,000 shares. This shows you the founder has 35,000 shares. This is Bittrex and Exchange. Okay, so basically if you look here, here's a bounty wallet, here's another founder's wallet. You can basically see what the founders have. All right, and if you watch this, you can see when the founders are selling, you know, and then you can ask yourself, why would the founders be selling all their chips? Or why are all these, I say chips, coins, why are all these coins on a single exchange and not spread out more? Who has the coins? These are the whales. All right. Now, just say, for example, I was watching this coin for a week. And this guy here has 166,000 coins at 50 bucks a piece. All right, and then say it went to 188, and then say it went to 200,000. Well, now you should ask yourself, why 
is this single address here accumulating all these coins? And if this is the private address, not an exchange? Well, this might be a whale getting ready to go for a big pump or a big dump. Um, I've seen this happen before. I've made money off of coins just by watching the whales accumulate the coins. Um, you see a coin being bought up out of nowhere off of no news. What kind of insider trading is going on? What do they know that you don't know? Is this a time to get out or is this time, time to load up and ride the waves the whale is creating? This is all on the block explorer. This is how you can see the whales accumulate the coins. Uh, very valuable tool. Um, you know, just like in the stock market, don't you want to know what Bill Gates and Warren Buffett are buying? Well, this is kind of like watching Bill Gates and Warren Buffett buy stuff. All right, uh, again, double check the Bitcoin form announcement thread. Read everything they have here on the announcements. And <clears throat> uh, it's from 2016. Read the first 10 pages, read the last 10 pages. That's how I do my research. Look at the website. <clears throat> website looks good. Um, another thing I want to talk about, read the white papers. All right, then read the team. If you go to a coin, all right, and the team is called, um, has a bunch of silhouette pictures or a bunch of drawings, and their names are Mr. Hacker X, Mr. Elite Freak, um, Julie the Girl Hacker, and everyone has a bunch of screen names. Uh, that should that should let you know to run. Uh, these are people that are not they don't don't want to be associated. They don't want to associate their name with the coin. Um, they want to remain anonymous. Uh, if you were part of a big organization or a good coin or a good project, you would want to be known. You would want to have your picture up here. You would want to have your name on here as an advisor or developer or project manager. Um, also take a look at the team. This team's about 20 people deep and they just hired six more people. Uh, that's a good sign. That's a coin that has a future. Uh, you see a coin that has one member on the team and he works on it part time while he works at IBM or Google on the side. Uh, just consider that information. You know, maybe this person's not fully dedicated. Maybe if there's only one person on the team and that person gets into a car accident, catches a Dewey. Now the whole coin's dead. The whole value of the whole coin could just tank because one person got hit by a drunk driver. Um, and believe me, there are a lot of coins with a single developer or one developer and four advisors. And that's something to be wary of, you know? Uh, what if this dude, you know, dies in a plane crash? There goes your coin. There goes all your money. Uh, research the team, check out the GitHub, uh, go read the subreddit, you know, go read the last 20 posts, see what the general consensus is of the coin and what projects they have coming up. Do you want to buy on the news? Do you want to buy on the announcement of an announcement? Um, this is all important for timing your entry. And then uh, look at the Twitter and see what everyone else is saying. Uh, then you can build your plan. And then once you build your plan, stand by it. Uh, just write it down, say this is what I think of the coin, and go on to the next coin. That's all you gotta do. Um, for every 10 coins I follow, there's about 2 to 3 I'm neutral on, 1 that I like, and 5 or 6 that I think are just complete crap. Sometimes it's as high as 9 out of 10 coins that are crap that I research. But I also research a lot. Um, so once again, I just want to show you this picture here. Uh, how to research crypto, do your own research. Um, basically this is just a picture I grabbed of a library. I love libraries. Uh, when I was in college, uh, for about the first two years, I spent every single day in the library studying. And uh, I loved it. Um, but here's, here's me with a stack of papers. Alright guys, uh, I just want to thank you all for checking in the video. Please check out the website, Ryan Knows Crypto. Please like, subscribe. I know this is a long video, but I appreciate you guys watching it. Have a good one.